it take to be successful? I'm sure, how many of you are good students in here? How many of you are bad students in here? Okay, at least you're honest. I mean, you're honest. I, I want to be honest. How many of you are just average students in here? I hate that word, average. And I'll tell you why I hate it in a bit, but what does it take to be successful? What do you guys think? I want some participation here. Yes? Education. Education? Yes. Hard work. Hard work? Yeah. Determination. Determination. I like that. Anything else? Anything else? Yes. Effort. Effort. Some other things. Inspiration. That's great. Inspiration. Okay. That's great. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about uh, when it comes to being successful is are you going to go beyond the call of duty? What does that mean? Are you going to go beyond the call of duty or are you just going to do just enough to get by? And when you do just enough to get by, you get just enough to get by results. You just become, i got to say this word again, I hate it, average. I'm going to explain that word later. I hate saying that word. I only say it when I come to speak to you guys. I hate that word, average. Okay? Or are you going to go above and beyond the call of duty? What does that mean? I played in the NBA. Actually, when I was in high school, let me start in high school. I wanted to be a big time basketball player. I always thought I wanted to be one of the best players in New Jersey, right? I wanted to be one of the top five players in this state. I made sure every day when that bell rang out of school, woo, I went straight to practice. I had friends that would go to their lockers, they would talk to their girlfriends. My wife is here today, she's my girlfriend in high school. She wanted me to talk to her, walk to the bus. I said, listen, I can't walk to the bus. I got to get to practice. And she understood. I went straight to practice. Because I felt like if I got there and I was able to warm up and practice five or ten extra minutes more than everybody else, by the end of the week, five days in the week, if I get ten extra minutes five days in the week, how many more minutes do I have at the end of the week than everybody else? Fifty more minutes. That's close to an hour more practice than everybody else, right? And that's, I had to have that edge. I had to do more than everybody else was doing because I wanted to be the best, I wanted to be successful. You can take that with basketball, you can take that with your education, whatever, whatever you want to do. Because most people just do enough just to get by. And if that's what you want to be, is average, then you just do what everybody else does. You're going to get what everybody else gets. That's average. Okay? When I got to Los Angeles Lakers, I always uh, tried to be that first person to practice. I wanted to be that first person to practice every day because I wanted to impress the coach, which was Phil Jackson. I wanted to make him, let him know, hey, I was here, I wanted to work on my game just like I did in high school. But every time I got to practice, I could never be the first person to practice. Why was that? Why was that? Who was the first person there all the time? You know it. <laughs> Kobe Bryant. He's the first person to practice every day. No matter what I did, no matter how early I got there, he was always there. I get there two hours before practice. Practice at 10 o'clock. I get there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Kobe Bryant is already there. I live 10 minutes from the gym. He lived an hour from the gym. He lived way out in this big old house. I had a little apartment around the beach. I got there. He's there. We played at Washington Wizards one day in a preseason game. Kobe Bryant goes up for a lay and falls down, breaks his wrist. Breaks his wrist. They say he's going to be out a little while. Now, I shouldn't tell you guys this. I'm ashamed to say this. But you know what I really thought? I was like, well, at least tomorrow I'm going to be the first person to practice. <laughs> that's, what I, that's really what I thought. That's what I thought. I get to practice. My ankles are getting taped. And I hear this ball bounce. I said, who is that? I walk out of the gym. Who's in practice with a cast on his right hand, his shooting hand, dribbling with his left hand, shooting with his left hand? Who was it? Kobe Bryant. He said, hey, what's up, Sean? What's up, man? Working on his game with his left hand. He was the greatest, and he's still the greatest, because of the effort that he put in. You get on a plane with Kobe Bryant, he's reading books. He, he, he spoke different languages. He wasn't into all the other mess that a lot of us were doing, playing cards, doing... He was focused. And that's why he's the best. So are you going to go above and beyond the call of duty? If you get homework, are you just going to go home and just do the homework and that's it? Are you reading extra? Are you reading the paper? Are you going online? Do you find out what's going on in the world? Are you just doing what
what your teachers are giving you. In the summertime, are you reading books? Are you going above and beyond the call of duty? Or are you just showing up for practice at 10 o'clock when you're supposed to be there? You know? That, 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 